They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Well, I can't believe it, it's raining. We've been going through a terrible hot and dry period. It's been quite a drought here, but here we have a short thunderstorm that allows me to illustrate how these rain chains work. You know, we put guttering up across the house to collect the rain off the roof of the house. On this porch, what we're doing is we're bringing the water down these rain chains and they spill into a gravel basin here which distributes the water. There's so much water that comes off of this roof, we didn't catch all of it because we only have a 500 gallon water tank to catch this rainwater in. Now, our roofer who did the roof on the house, Brent Newman, brought these bronze or copper colored rain chains out. They don't actually match the galvanized color of our gutters. He's gonna switch those out later, but until those came in, he brought these out for us to see and illustrate for you how they work. You see, they bring the water down this chain and keeps it from splashing all over the posts and the floor of the porch, which will keep it from rotting, or at least that's my hope. So let's let this little thunderstorm pass and we'll go around back and I'll show you the water retention tank that we have and how all the guttering feeds into it. Well, unfortunately, it stopped raining, but you get the idea. At least the rain helped me illustrate the point. If you look up here, you can see the entire south side of the house has guttering that runs along, collects the water, and it brings it down here into this 500-gallon basin. And you can hear it. It's filled up all the way up to here. And then, of course, here's the spigot that allows it to come out of the bottom there. Pure, fresh rainwater. Now, what we're gonna do once we start the landscaping, we'll tie into this and allow it through gravity to drip irrigate lots of blueberries and things back here on the back side of the garden. It's a great way to save water, save resources. It's good for the planet. If you're enjoying these updates on the house, love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.